The following is an audio article from the Environmental News Agency, Down to Earth. The latest developments in the field of climate science teach us that carbon sequestration is one of the best ways to mitigate global warming. But unless the tree cover outside forests is increased, it may not be possible to stop the march of climate change powered by the use of fossil fuels in transport. The Oroval Forest Group, a non-profit in Puducherry, has introduced a new method of increasing tree cover that can mitigate climate change effectively in the future. Oroval, an international town in Puducherry, has planted about 3 million trees from 1968 onwards. The sincere attempt has created a green belt of 1,380 acres around Oroval. The non-profit has removed invasive alien species, planted native tree species, and improved the area through various soil and moisture conservation measures, like building check dams and percolation ponds. Above all, protection from woodcutters and grazing has provided very good results. The non-profit has found that 30 tropical, dry, evergreen forest trees, indigenous to the town, can sequester 1 million tons of carbon during their lifetime. The group uses a carbon converter, a greenhouse gas emission calculator, a tool using global conversion factor from the GHG protocol for corporate accounting to convert transport details into total emissions. Transport emissions due to flights, cars, buses, and trains can be calculated by using this method. The emissions arrived at are calculated in kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalent. For example, if one travels from Chennai to Delhi by flight, the distance traveled is 1,763 kilometers with a total emission of 213 kilograms of CO2. In that case, eight trees are to be planted for carbon offsetting at a cost of 944 rupees. If one travels by car from Chennai to Bangalore, the distance covered is 290 kilometers with a total emission of 35 kilograms of CO2. So one has to plant one tree with a cost of 118 rupees. Thus, the impact of transport on the environment can be calculated and the same can be compensated by planting the required number of trees. The Oroval Forest Group takes care of the plants planted on behalf of citizens in Oroville with watering, soil work and pest control measures. The Government of India can enact a special act, Climate Change Mitigation through Tree Planting Act, emulating the same methodology as the one followed in Oroville. Due provision for carbon offsetting can be provided under the Act. A green tax may be calculated by considering the carbon emissions from cars, buses, trains and flights and the cost of planting the required number of trees and subsequent maintenance. The tax can be collected from the concerned transport operators through the concerned departments which have control over them. The same amount can be allotted to the city corporation or the forest department concerned for carrying out planting activities. These will be subject to monitoring and evaluation by outside agencies appointed by the Union Environment Ministry. Currently, compensatory afforestation programs are being carried out by the state forest departments from the funds allotted by the center. Whenever any forest area is diverted for any non-forestry program, twice the extent of land and the charges for afforestation and soil and moisture conservation measures are collected from the concerned departments. The same fund is utilized under the Compensatory Afforestation Fund Management and Planning Authority known as CAMPA and is monitored and evaluated subsequently. Similarly, the fund collected under the Climate Change Mitigation through Planting of Trees Act from the transport authorities can be allotted to the concerned state governments 
by the Union Environment Ministry. The planting activities can be monitored and evaluated subsequently by any outside agency for effective management of the program. The idea suggested can be discussed with the concerned authorities for earnest introduction of the Act and the same can be effectively implemented for the mitigation of climate change. The author of this article, V. Sundar Raju, is President of the Society for Conservation of Nature in Trichy, Tamil Nadu, and a consultant with the Society for Social Forest Research and Development. Views expressed are the author's own and don't necessarily reflect those of Down to Earth. For more information, follow the links in the description below and please remember to subscribe on your way out.